Okay, something a little off topic this morning. Alright, so you invited a few of your pals over and you're going to watch Jerry Springer's Uncensored Pay-Per-View. You just paid, God only knows how much for it. I forget how much it even cost. All of a sudden your wife comes into the room. She gives you that dirty scowl. You know that scowl that I'm talking about. That dirty, evil look that she gives you. That she's explaining to you, hey buddy, you're going to be sleeping on the Chesterfield tonight. Yeah, that look. So you're waiting around, waiting for the furnace to kick in. You know it's going to kick in at this point in time. Because you got to chill. All of a sudden, it didn't, it didn't come on. You're thinking, well, why? All right, so you watch uh, Jerry Springer, and all of a sudden, all your friends are leaving, and uh, they're getting into their cars, and they're going home or whatever. And you go downstairs, you notice that, hey, it's starting to get cool off in the house, and your furnace isn't running. You check your switch. The switch is, in fact, on, and still no go find that this little red button here has popped up, so you say, okay, well, whatever. Something must have tripped it. I'm just going to turn it, push the button, and that'll be the end of it. Okay. So all of a sudden, the pump kicks in. You're thinking to yourself, okay, well, hey, maybe it's working. So you go back upstairs, or you start, you know, looking around at the mess of beer bottles, and then you wonder why your wife is so mad at you all the time. Yeah, that'll do it. So you think to yourself, well, maybe I'll clean this up. Then you kind of get hungry and then you go upstairs and eat a Big Mac. Or you end up going out for a Big Mac. But halfway up the stairs, you realize that this unit... Wait for it. It just shut off. It didn't blow an ounce of heat out of the vents whatsoever. So you go out back, your natural instinct is, hey, maybe it ran out of fuel. So you go out back and you check, maybe it's out of fuel. If for whatever reason your fuel tank is low, severely low on fuel, or empty, then hey, go to the store, go to your service center, get a can of clear diesel. Okay, if you even have access to colored diesel, it's cheaper, it, you can actually run your oil powered burner furnace on diesel fuel. It'll run just as good. You don't even have to hold the jerry can, it'll balance itself. That is, of course, if you have the skill like I do. <laughs> um, if you can get yourself uh, your hands on some uh, colored diesel or dyed diesel, it'll run in your furnace. Dump that in there so you can get some heat until the fuel guy comes along. Now, what has more than likely happened if it ran out of fuel is that there is air in the lines. Okay, this happens a lot. Um, what you're going to find here, if you, if you take a closer look, you're going to find a bleeder screw right here. Similar to the brake line on your caliper on your car or your um, wheel cylinder. What you're going to want to do is find yourself a little catch container. Now, if you so happen to put colored diesel in your tank, colored diesel is going to stain the floor, so make sure you have a good container to put it in. If you put clear diesel in it, it's still going to stink regardless. So have a good container under there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this bleeder, just like that. I'm going to fire this unit on, and I'm going to wait until all this air comes out of here. We need a good solid flow of fuel. That's not bad, so I'm going to close this. Wait for it to ignite. Obviously, it's not going to light, so we still got some air in the lines. Like I say, this could take a couple of tries. If it doesn't happen on the first two or three temps, keep trying at it. You gotta keep trying. Because um, any little bit of air in the lines, you're gonna have no fire. So obviously we didn't get it. Now, there is a time delay with these things. So notice here, I can't start the machine, start the burner, until uh, at least 30 seconds has elapsed, give or take. So. Um, this is a problem with my my burner. This is in my garage right now, and um, after about three days of sitting idle, which I don't run this furnace all the time, uh, so it's been about three days since I was last in here, the furnace hasn't ran. So I come in here to do, uh, fire up old Sparky here, and uh, old Sparky fires, 
and uh, runs for about 60 seconds and then all of a sudden the flame goes out and then the pump goes out after that. The tank has fuel in it. Now, more than likely or not, it's the fuel has either gone back into the tank and or the lines have air in it now, whatever. So anyway, um, this is a problem that I always incur. Uh, there is in fact fuel in the tank, it's just a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna, should start now. Look at all the air. This is not good. You gotta get rid of all that. That is all air. We need a good, solid, steady stream of fuel. That's not bad, but I'm gonna let it run because it's not a very good stream. We definitely don't have a very good stream of fuel coming. So there's a lot of air in there. Look at all the air. See, all those air bubbles, that's no good. Same with the brake caliper on your car. If you have um, air in your brake lines, your brakes are, aren't going to be all that great. You're, you're going to feel a lot of sponginess when you're applying the brakes. If you're, you apply the paddle, um, the brake paddle, you're going to feel a lot of sponginess if there's air in your lines. Well, similar to this, if you have air in the system, it's not going to light. So we're going to let it wait for a minute yet. There's obviously a lot of air in the system, um, which is too bad because it's, it's a real pain to get going if you have this much air in your lines. This is a big problem if you let your furnace run out of fuel. Um, it's a it's a horrible problem, uh, but anyway. Uh, another thing too, there's a filter here. Most of them have a filter that are lined up right there. Um, it it shouldn't be too too bad. Like I'm not going to get into removing that today. So like I say, it's just clear diesel in this. Um, nothing fancy. Like if you run out of fuel, you can run clear diesel. If you have access to colored diesel or dyed diesel fuel, it's it's a lot cheaper. Well, a little cheaper anyway. You're not paying road tax on it. Um, like I say, why pay road tax on something that's not even on the road? Well, Sparky, the only thing that's going to be moving is if it goes flying up through the ceiling. Then maybe it'll land on the road. Then maybe I should pay road tax on it. Never know with this whole thing. She'll probably blow out of here one day. Okay, so bleeder valve is open. I'm going to try it again. Look at the air. See, this is no good. See all that air? Now that's not a bad stream, but with all that, see it's spitting right now. We can't have that. That's, there's air in the lines. It's, it's no good like that. So if you are in your basement and, you know, your wife is downstairs with you, tapping her foot, wondering why the hell she married you, well, at least if you get the furnace going again, she might de delay the uh, signing the papers just yet. Now, you can hear the bleeder valve. It still has a lot of air in there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close this valve. I'm going to let it pump with the bleeder valve closed. See if it'll get a little bit of a suction there. Um, it probably won't, but... And uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but around a quarter of a turn, you know, you don't have to open it wide open or take the bleeder screw right out. Because like I say, when you get fuel pumping on this old girl, you're going to want to be able to close this bleeder screw pretty quick. Uh, you don't want to be fumbling with it. But, you know, like a, a quarter of a turn is lots. So just enough that you can get your wrench on and go just like that, tighten it right up nice and tight. And as soon as you have it tightened down and there's a good strong fuel flow, the uh, burner should light and you should have heat. And that's how you get her going, boys. We have ignition. Keep warm, Fuzzbutt. Let's get to work.